Today I am going to be talking about my technique for using shellac as a resist to produce my translucent work. Um, there are multiple ways of uh, water, multiple masks that can be used. Um, for instance, masking fluid. This is the standard stuff used by watercolorists to mask off paper. Um, you can use almost anything that stops water uh, getting to the surface of the work. I use shellac because it creates, it's a bit harder and creates a more um, robust surface. Now I use this which is flakes of shellac. Um, these, this particular one is lemon shellac. This is melted with methylated spirits. Put the two of those together and you end up with this, which is liquid shellac. Now I make it about the same as single cream. Um, give or take. It's something that you have to adjust to your own specifications and your own requirements. This works particularly well for me. You then apply this to the surface of your piece. Now that piece can be uh, tiles, it can be, as in my case, um, thrown pieces of porcelain. So this has been thrown it is bone dry and turned and completely finished. So this could be bisque fired now. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is applying shellac to the outside and then with a wet sponge removing some of the surface. Now one of my favourites was torn sponge gives a just dipped into the um, shellac and applied as a random marking all the way around the surface. Once it's applied, it has to be dried now, it doesn't take very long, um, maybe a quarter of an hour. So if you're doing this in a normal method, you would have perhaps half a dozen pieces that you would apply the shellac to all at the same time. And that's the first stage, just applied and allowed to dry. Now, this, in this case I've used sponge, you can use any uh, brushes that you care to mention. They can be handmade, um, Chinese style, each gives you, so I use a, a vast array of different brushes. Um, after you've applied, I would then wash out the brush in another container with meths in it and then wash the brush in hot soapy water. That will remove 90% of the shellac. So if it's your favourite brush, don't use it for shellac. Um, it'll never be quite the same again. Now, the shellac takes... 15 20 minutes or more to dry out. Um, this I applied a little earlier, so it's pretty well dry now. Um, so, bucket of water and a damp sponge. Um, how damp, you're going to ask? Well, about that damp, you don't want it dribbling water 
because that water will get absorbed by the clay and will make it um, more fragile. Not too dry because then you um, abrade the surface rather than use the water to wash it off. Um, therefore the only real thing I can suggest is you have to keep trying. You will discover quite rapidly how dry or how wet you particularly require your sponge. Now the process itself isn't very quick, isn't very um, time consuming. You do have to concentrate. Um, you're holding quite a fragile piece of clay in your hand um, and making it more fragile. So after a little while the sponge gets ab absorbs a lot of the clay. You then have to wash the clay out and start again. Um, you see I'm working my way around the piece. Um, excuse the occasional silence. That would be me concentrating. I would normally do this with the work cradled in my lap. Um, I cover my lap with a towel and then cradle work. That gives me more control. I can feel it better. But um, you can't see what's happening on film. So you continue the process all the way around the piece. until you meet up with where you came from. You see this, the slight colour change in the clay. Good indication of where you've been, where you need to go. And that is the very first layer. Um, normally if I had half a dozen pieces on the go, um, this piece would now get put to one side, the next piece would be sponged, and so on until you finished. They then need to be dried out, allowed to dry, so several hours overnight, and then once again you take the shellac out, you apply another layer of shellac, just to this edge here, um, all the way around, you can then take another layer off. So you can work your way up through the body of, of the piece until you've got as little or as much taken away as you want. Um, the work is now fired, I personally bisque fire to about a thousand centigrade. Um, I would then, says he, for the planning, haven't got the piece out. There we go. I then sandpaper the surface. The, the shellac leaves a residue on the surface of the clay. Uh, it's not very much. But for me, it's a little bit disrupt. Dis it's a little wrong. So I would uh, sandpaper off the surface. Damp, because you don't want any to make any um, dust. Then you've got a bisque fired and pretty well finished piece of work. Um, I normally Personally, it would glaze the inside with a transparent or a very lightly coloured glaze. And then fire again to 1260, 1280, 1300, depending on the clay. Um, that creates something 
um, that if you've thrown it thinly enough in the first place, a translucent piece of work.